Well, what a surprise. Look what we have here. One, two, three, four wheels for the Land Cruiser. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting these to get here so fast. What is going on YouTube where I am your brother Reza and this is KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y and I am super excited because as you can see behind me there's boxes of wheels and I've been waiting for those and today was a weird day and then these wheels came when I got home and I didn't even expect them so I'm super excited if you can't tell and I'm about to go to the tire shop and get them mounted so I'm going to load everything up in the truck and uh, yeah get these wheels on hopefully you can get some uh, footage of it before the sun goes down so let's go. great thing about Land Cruiser is that everything fits in it. So the rims, the tires, everything is in here. I can show you real quick. And uh, yeah, there you go. Get my wheels, got my tires. And you see these tires, the way I muscled them up in there, that would have been impossible. Well, not impossible, but significantly harder with the KM3s that I was gonna go with. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a ride to the tire shop and get these mounted. And I kind of started to take growing appreciation for the OEM wheels. So I'm definitely keeping them. But now we're gonna swap them out to something cooler. Right here, you can see the B-grip technology. You can see this big hump right here, and you can see all these little ridges. This is what gives you the ability to run really low tire pressures, apparently. I haven't tried it yet, but I will be. See that these fit perfectly on the Tricky Tricky 100 series uh, hub. Unfortunately, you can't run the caps, but. All right, I have to interrupt this video real quick with uh, a little part that I want to insert because I felt like in this video, I kind of glaze over some things that are kind of important if you are looking for wheels for a 100 series LX or LC. And I'm trying to do this really quick. My wife is in a meeting downstairs. There's construction going on outside. So hopefully I can knock this out really, really quick. All right, so finding wheels for a Land Cruiser, a 100 series Land Cruiser, or even an 80 series Land Cruiser is very difficult. But specifically, I'm gonna to talk to you real quick about the 100 series and why it's so hard. Number one, the bolt pattern is a five by 150. And that is a bolt pattern that the Land Cruiser shares with the uh, Tundras. Unfortunately, the Land Cruiser has this hub poking out on the front axle that makes it very difficult to uh, find a wheel solution that works with the 100 series. And there's also the offset issue. Now, I don't want to go too deep into the offset and all that stuff, but it can be a big pain in the behind trying to find uh, aftermarket Tundra wheels that will fit on your Land Cruiser. And that was the issue that I had when I bought the uh, other wheels, the level eight wheels from the guy in Birmingham. So um, I went online and I found these uh, uh, method wheels that fit perfectly and I absolutely love them. Um, so the, what kind of offset do you want? Well, from what I've read on mud, you want something in between in the 30-ish range if you want to sit like kind of flush and still have a lot of room for your uh for your suspension to fully articulate under like, you know, off-road driving. Now me, by mistake, I went with a zero offset. The zero offset, I like the way that it looks, but I went with a smaller wheel. I went with the 265 instead of a 285, and I don't have any rub, any kind of issues or anything like that. And um, I'm not going to be doing any like super hardcore off-roading in my Land Cruiser, so I feel like I will be okay. And even with the, the suspension articulating, you know, and twisting up, I really don't think I'm gonna get any rubbing issues, but it is a risk to do so. So real quick, what kind of options are there out there for the LC? Well, not very many, unfortunately. You will pretty much be limited to a few uh, companies. Um, 
I know that Method makes some, and they have pretty much, from what I saw, the best options. You have Black Rhino, which only had two options, and then, oh, let's go into the width of the wheels. These wheels, were, the Black Rhino ones were nine inches in width. The ones that I got were 8.5 inches in width. I would go with something closer to eight, 8.5, if you can find that. But um, yeah, it's kind of hard to find. And one of the other options is a wheel called the Volk TE37X. I looked that wheel up, it is extremely expensive. That thing is about like, I wanna say like something like six, $700 per wheel. So yeah, you can do that or you can go with the methods at $30 a wheel. The Volk is lighter at 17 pounds, but it's like, as that comes at a very heavy cost. So for me, the methods made the most sense and that is why I went with the method wheels. Now we shall uh, go into the end of this video. What a successful afternoon it was. I finally got some wheels that I like on my uh, 100 series Land Cruiser. I went with the uh, Method 703 wheels and man, I think they look mega. I put them in a 265, 70, 17 uh, BF Goodridge KO tires. And uh, I really, really like it a lot. Like, and how did I even, why did I even go with that size? Because most people go with 285s, right? Well, I went the 265 because I was running 265s on the uh, GX470 Unicorn 1. And uh, I just rolled those wheels over <laughs> next to my uh, LC and was like, huh, I like the way that looks. So that's why I went with the 265 instead of a 285. And it doesn't rub. I went, you know, lock to lock. No problems rubbing, backing up, going forward, etc. Um, it's just, I really, really enjoy the way it looks. I like the way it looks from the front, from the back, from the top angle, from the side, from every angle. It just looks mega. These wheels, I am super happy with this. I have pretty much the same uh, motif that I had with the uh, 997 and I carried that over to the 100 series and I just, yeah, I just love it. So today was a massive success and we are finally making some progress on the uh, 100 series uh, project. So. If you're a Carrot Life, Carrot Life with the Y, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, that's it. See y'all. Peace. Ugh.